Andromeda, a space age tail aka Andromeda Nebula, Russian, Tumanost Andromedy, Tumanost Andromedy, is a science fiction novel by the Soviet writer and paleontologist Ivan Yefremov, written and published in 1957. The novel was made into a film in 1967, The Andromeda Nebula. Efremov's 1958 short story, The Heart of the Serpent, and 1968 novel The Bull's Hour, which is set in the same universe taking place some 200 years later, are considered as its sequels. Topic. Plot summary The book portrays Efremov's conception of a classic communist utopia set in a distant future. Throughout the novel, the author's attention is focused on the social and cultural aspects of the society, and the struggle to conquer vast cosmic distances. There are several principal heroes, including a starship captain, two scientists, a historian, and an archaeologist. Though the world described in the novel is intended to be ideal, there's an attempt to show a conflict and its resolution with a voluntary self-punishment of a scientist whose reckless experiment caused damage. There's also a fair amount of action in the episodes where the crew of the starship fight alien predators. In the novel, several civilizations across our galaxy, including Earth, are united in the Great Circle, whose members exchange and relay scientific and cultural information. Notably, faster-than-light travel or communication does not exist in the time portrayed in the book, and one of the minor plot lines examines a failed attempt to overcome this limitation. The radio transmissions around the Great Circle are pictured as requiring a tremendous amount of energy, and are thus infrequent. One of the main plot lines follows the crew of the spacecraft Tantra led by Captain Erg Noor, dispatched to investigate the sudden radio silence of one of the nearby Great Circle planets. The crew travels to the planet, and discovers that most life on it has been destroyed by unsafe experimentation with radioactivity. On their return journey, the Tantra is scheduled to meet a carrier spacecraft to refuel, but the second ship does not make the rendezvous. The crew attempts the return voyage with meager fuel, but is trapped by the gravitational field of an iron star, some form of compact star in modern terms. The crew lands on one of its planets, where they discover the wreck of a previous expedition, as well as a mysterious alien spacecraft. After fighting off the native life form, the crew retrieve the remaining fuel supplies from the wreck and succeed in returning to Earth. The second major plot line follows Dar Veta, the director of the Global Space Agency as he makes way for a successor and then attempt to find a new job for himself. When his successor voluntarily steps down as punishment for a daring experiment that goes wrong, Veta returns to the position. The book closes with the launch of a new expedition, once again led by Noor, to a pair of new planets that offer the possibility of human colonization. It is a bittersweet ending, as the cosmonauts themselves will not live long enough to return. Topic. Literary significance and criticism Critics have accused the heroes of the novel being more of philosophical ideas than live people. Nevertheless, the novel was a major milestone in Soviet science fiction literature, which, in Stalin's era, had been much more short-sighted never venturing more than a few decades into the future and primarily focusing on technical inventions rather than social issues the so-called short aim. Science fiction. Boris Strugatsky wrote, Yefremov was an icebreaker of a man. He has broken the seemingly unbreakable ice of the short aim theory. He has shown how one can and should write modern SF, and thus has ushered a new era of Soviet SF. Of course those times were already different, the Stalin Ice Age was nearing its end, and I think that even without Andromeda, Soviet SF would soon start a new course. But the publication of Andromeda has become a symbol of the new era, its banner, in some sense. Without it, the new growth would have been an order of magnitude more difficult, and a thaw in our SF wouldn't have come until later. <laughs> Topic. Characters Topic. 
Crew of the first class spaceship Tantra 37th Space Expedition Erg Noor, Chief of the Expedition, Spaceship Commander Nissa Crete, Astronavigator Poor HYSs, Astronomer Luma Lasvi, Ship's Physician Eon Tal, Biologist Ingrid Dietra, Astronomer Pearl Lin, Astronavigator Bina Leth, Geologist Taron, Mechanical Engineer Iona Ma, teacher of gymnastics, dietary supervisor, storekeeper. K. Bear, electronic engineer. Topic: Characters of Earth. Topic: Men. Grom Orm, president of the Astronautical Council. Dis Ken, his son Zeke Zor, music composer Thoran, son of Zeke Zor, Dis Ken's friend Mir Ohm, secretary of the Astronautical Council Dar Vetter, retiring director of the Outer Stations Mwen Mass, successor to Dar Vetter Junius Antis, director of the Electronic Memory Machines Kam Amat, Indian scientist in a former age Liao Lang, paleontologist Ren Bose, physicist Kart San, painter Frith Don, director of the Maritime Archaeological Expedition Sherless, mechanic to the expedition A.H.F. Newt, prominent surgeon Grim Shah, biologist of the Institute of Nerve Currents Zan Sen, poet, historian Heb Yur, soil scientist Beth Lorne, mathematician, criminal in exile Embe Ong, candidate for director of the outer stations Cad Light, engineer on Satellite 57 Topic. Women Evda Nal, psychiatrist Rhea, her daughter Veda Kong, historian Miiko Igoro, historian, Vader's assistant Chara Nandi, biologist, dancer, artist's model Onar, girl of the island of oblivion Eva Jan, astronomer Luda Feyer, psychologist in a former age Topic. Extraterrestrial characters Gorhan, observer on the diurnal satellite Zaif Thet, Director of External Relations of the Planet of 61 Cygni Topic. Notes Topic. Bibliography Jameson, Frederick Progress versus Utopia, or, Can We Imagine the Future? Science Fiction Studies 9.2 147-158. Suvan, Darko. Three World Paradigms for SF, Asimov, Yefremov, Lem. Pacific Quarterly Moana, An International Review of Arts and Ideas 4, 1979-271-283. Yefremov, Ivan. Andromeda, a Space Age Tale translated by George Hanna. Moscow, Foreign Language Publishing House, 1959, 444 pp. LCCN, 95207661. Yefremov, Ivan. Andromeda, a Space Age Tale translated by George Hanna. Moscow, Progress Publishers, 1980, 397 pp. ISBN 0-8285-1856-4. LCCN, 82206351. Yefremov, Ivan. Andromeda, A Space Age Tale. N.I., Fredonia Books, August 30, 2004, 384 pp. ISBN 
Topic: External links. Andromeda, a space age tale by Ivan Yefremov in the Udi Mert mirror of the Maxim Moshko's library. Andromeda, a space age tale by Ivan Yefremov full text. Archived from the original on the 16th of March 2009. Retrieved the 29th of February 2016. CS1 maint, bot, original URL status unknown, link. Andromeda at the Library of Congress. Review of Andromeda, a space age tale.